Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I Aaron Deva Priyam, servant of God, coming to you all in the mighty presence of God. And what a privilege that God has given for every one of us, especially this wonderful year God has added for every one of us in our lifetime. Thank you. Praise God. And what a privilege, first of all, coming to the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we all bow down our heads and close our eyes and meditate the presence of the power of the Holy Spirit. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Almighty God, God of heavens and Lord of lords, King of kings, most high God, Lord of hosts, we thank you and praise you, Father. Thank you, first of all, giving this Master God the new year 2022 in our life, Master God, beginning with the word of God, Father God, and how many of us, Master God, we have really have got the fellowship with you, Master God, by having the relationship with you as well, Father Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us to understand and especially, Master God, to take the decision to have the Master God admission in the fellowship with you, Father God, Lord Jesus. And we rebuke the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lead us and guide us and give us the reason what is the actual thing to attain the blessings and live the purpose of being a human being in this world according to your will lord jesus christ will in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen praise god dear friends it's a wonderful privilege that beginning with this year especially having a wonderful doubt actually that is how we are able to get the blessings from God how we can be favored to God lots of people may think that so many years are coming in your life so many days are moving so much time is moving but still you are not attained to the the presence of God Still, you are not able to understand the word of God. Still, you are not able to understand the promise which God has given to you. Still, you are not able to understand to walk with God. What is that exactly? Why we are not able to pray in the spirit? Why, why we are not able to be pleased to God? Why you are not favored to God? Why the word of God is not able to talk to you and why you are not able to talk to word of God as well what is the reason dear friends this year especially 2022 God wants us to know that you are maybe in any country you are maybe in any place you are whatever whatsoever situation but the spirit of God is giving a word saying that you I must have the fellowship with Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. You know very well, the fellowship with God is an extraordinary a fellowship that the world cannot understand. Praise God. Because if we say that I am a believer, so believer itself is the actually having an agreement with God and that's what it makes the fellowship with God. Praise God. So our life, having a fellowship with God, it makes an extraordinary. What is a fellowship first of all? It is a, a company of people that makes the, that shares the same interest, same in one point. So if I say that we are having the fellowship with Lord Jesus Christ, then every one of us, all my views, all my thoughts, all my, my uh, aims and my thinkings and everything, it is focusing towards only on one spot and that is Lord Jesus Christ. That is the fellowship with Jesus Christ. So fellowship means it is having a uh, having moving a partnership a partnership for a lifetime that's called the fellowship maybe these worldly fellowships are there maybe for a time being for an associated fellowship 
or a time being fellowship, student fellowship or lifetime fellowship. But this fellowship is something extraordinary that the creator of heaven and earth and the creator of you and me and you are having the fellowship with God, fellowship with Jesus Christ. Praise God. So that is what the scripture says very clearly, having the fellowship with God and that makes your walking with God. Praise God. Okay, first of all, fellowship, if we need to have the fellowship means we must have the relationship. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Relationship is the first beginning. So what it makes relationship? Relationship with Jesus. Relationship means you are connected. You are related in which way? Your relationship in which way? Is it blood relationship? Is it, is it a, a friendship relationship? Or is it a, a partnership relationship? Or it is a part-time relationship? So relationship, it makes a big difference. Suppose if I say that I am having a relationship with my father. So because since he is my father, so father is my related. How? Through blood. And that is what the father's seed is we are forming and so is our father. Praise God. So heavenly father Lord Jesus Christ, he created each one of us. So he is our related. How? He is our heavenly father. Praise God. Amen. So once God is, is in, the, in the position of the heavenly father, so we need to have the relationship with God. So how do we relationship? Yes, even if we see the Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1, it says that we are, we were dead in our trespasses and sins. So we have got cut off the relationship with our Heavenly Father. That's what it happened very clearly Adam and Eve. They broke the relationship with God by doing the sin. So the sin made us to get depart from God. And that makes that relationship broken off, my dear friends. So the relationship must have the rejoined. So that to make rejoin Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he had come to this world. That means the heavenly father became the human form. He has come to this world and he died for us on the cross. Why? To shed his only the precious blood of Jesus so that we can have the, the, the repentance of our sins and rejoin, have reconnected and get reconnected of the relationship with God. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. Yeah, that's what it says Ephesians 2 verse 12 it says that we have been separated from God due to our trespasses, praise God. And we are almost uh, without God, without God. If today, if we are not confess of our sins to our Lord Jesus Christ, if we are not born again, if your sins have not forgiven, for example, that means you are not still having the relationship with God. Maybe you are seeing God, maybe you are seeing the worldly things, Maybe you have the worldly impression. Maybe you can say all gods are one. Maybe you can say, yes, see this God, if I pray, something happens. This one, it happens. These are all the ideas that makes for even for a lot of believers in the in sense of uh, the Christianity. The people are there. Yes, I know Jesus Christ. Yes, from Sunday school, I learned Jesus Christ. Yes, we are good the modern Christians. We are good, uh, a moderated Christians. We are good having the knowledge of the word of God Christians. We have that, but they do not have the relationship with God, relationship with Jesus. You and me may can accept Jesus is a God, but have you got the relationship with God? That is the question we need to 
food so we are totally excluded from the relationship with god if we are not confess of our sins and accept jesus christ as our personal savior and that's what the word of god is talking about so galatians chapter 4 verse 8 it says that we did not know god we did not know god because god means we a lot of people the basically what the devil does to uh, have a, a, a an understanding about god is god is you pray to god he will help us you pray to god he will do but you have your own business i will be doing my own business then i will be praying to god for something in between needs of sir, some uh, some of my help for uh, regarding my requirements so i have my own business in this world i am a human being i am a father i am a mother i am a child so i have my own business i have my job i have my my things to be established in this world so in between if any uh, needs of god's help only we are requiring god but what is the purpose of god what is the purpose of us in this world my dear friend we are from god somebody say a man praise god and what is that exactly it needs we we have the some sort of the intimacy with god so if my children once they grown up so a father and mother parents they thinks they want to be established according to the parents views and their welfare of their lovely food of their future that's what the thing but here the heavenly father also he has given a he has given a, a, a purpose of being a human being for every one of us it's not that just for this temporary we are the we are the people of foreigners here yes we are from heavenly realms come to this worldly life for a time being for what and that is nothing but to glorify the name of lord jesus christ our heavenly father amen that's what you observe jesus christ he always prays he always says that lord let your name be glorified praise god so that is what uh, the a relationship with jesus christ is nothing but the relationship of intimacy and security in the presence of god praise god and that makes the relationship it makes that you are what you are for god what you are for jesus christ what is the connection now once i am a born again believer i can say it's not that jesus is my lord jesus is my savior jesus is my messiah jesus is my god jesus is my heavenly father jesus is everything for me that's what we are going to say amen so if not we can say that jesus is god jesus is i know jesus if you pray he helps jesus he heals that much only you know but you are not having the relationship somebody say amen so how do we get relationship that's why we must be born again how we must be born again in christ jesus praise god if we are born to our father and mother if we are born to our parents we are calling them there they are our relatives what relatives they are my parents am i correct praise god so if we need to have the relationship with god so we need to give them the same process we have to come we must be born again from god praise god that's what the born again jesus christ so if we are having the relationship with god if we accept that is if we ask forgiveness of our sins and through the blood of jesus christ jesus christ if we are having a given a, a birth and that's what we are born again and we have jesus in us uh, that's what it makes that the holy spirit the spirit of god will be given to each one of us praise god so when we come to lord jesus christ so our condition is radically changes our situation changes 
our that's why it says uh, 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 in second uh, corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says that all things became new the world has gone everything became new what is that new that is what the new new is only in christ jesus that's what even my brother was uh, explaining to me talking about the new year new year is not the happy new year it is a happy year added unto you but the new is the new beginning the new born again the new creation so the new creation that's why the happy new creation there we can say happy new creation so the creation of god the creation the recreation that's what happens when you accept jesus christ somebody say amen praise god so here the when we receive the forgiveness of our sins according to 1 john chapter 2 verse 12 so that we can have the reconciliation with God. Romans chapter 5 verse 10 to 11 we see that we have the reconciliation with God. What was broken? So that relationship with has got a reconnected. So once we are having a, a birthright, once we have the relationship with God, so that we can walk there onwards. Once I know my father, I will hold his hand then I will walk with him I will move according to him I will do his will I will work for him that is called the fellowship somebody say a man praise God so after relationship the fellowship will take place fellowship is nothing but partnership fellowship is nothing but moving together fellowship is nothing but agreement through the relationship somebody say a man so we must have the fellowship with lord jesus christ by having the relationship with jesus christ a man so once we are we are having a righteousness in front of god so that we can receive who is making us to walk my dear friend how can we walk with god how we can have the fellowship with god that is only one thing by only the holy spirit praise god that is the gift of the holy spirit acts chapter 2 verse 38 peter says that uh, we must repent and be baptized in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and receive the gift of the holy spirit praise god amen and amen Thank you, Holy Spirit. So that we are, we are becoming a new creation. Now we have been empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we have the fellowship now. Praise God. So fellowship begins with relationship. Praise God. And listen, until we have the relationship with God, it's too difficult for the fellowship with God as well. So we must have the relationship. So the personal and intimate knowledge of God will be fulfilled in our life having the fellowship with God. Praise God. So that is the thing. So if anyone wants to love God, you must have the fellowship with God. Without having the fellowship, if without having the fellowship with God, how can you say that I love God? God so loved the world. How? How did he how did he derive it? How God derived the God so loved the world? Because he has given only his begotten son. Praise God. He has given his only begotten son. Lord Jesus Christ, he has given to us. And that's what he says that I have I, I, I love the world. Why? Because of you and me. So how God derived the love that is by giving Jesus Christ and he has sacrificed on the cross. He died for us and he risen again. That is what important thing my dear friend. Listen very carefully how God should love. Now if anyone says that I love God, somebody say amen. If anyone loves God, that means he has known to him then only we can say love God. So how you love God? 
Jesus said, I love you that I have given my life. I lay down my life for you. So God so loved the world. So God so loved, loved you and me. So that's what the good shepherd he does. So when we say, I love you, Jesus. So what we can say, Lord, Lord Jesus, what, what can we say? Yes, Lord, I have died with you. All my sins, everything I have asked for them. Repent and ask for the forgiveness. And that's what you have sacrificed for God. Somebody say, Amen. Praise God. Have you done it that or not? If not, then how can we say that our love for God? Listen very carefully. The concept is very simple. God so loved you. So he died and he risen. And you are love God. Have you died and have you risen again? Praise God. This is what Jesus said. It's very difficult for you to do. So I am coming to you. I have laid down my life. You just ask for the forgiveness. So I will give the Holy Spirit anointing with you. So that you can have the fellowship with me. So the agreement will be taken place only because of the blood of Jesus Christ. So we are not righteous. How can we become fellowship with God? Yes, we can have. How? That is by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. So he has given a ransom for us. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He has given the ransom for us. So he paid for us. And he has given our, he has taken our punishment. And God has given this wonderful opportunity, my dear friend. This is a, a, an ultimate love for us, which God showed for us. So now today we can say, I love you, Jesus. How? I have the fellowship. I have the card registration. What is the registration fellowship you were called? That is nothing but you were born again in Christ Jesus. Somebody say amen. Praise God. So that is what God is faithful through whom you were called into the fellowship. That's what 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 it says. That God has called you. He is so faithful for you and me. And then he, he is making us to have a fellowship with him. And that's what God says that he is, that he is the fellowship with his son. Jesus Christ of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So God is given this privilege, my dear friend. Today God is saying that how you can have the relationship with God. Yes, we must have the relationship with God so that we can have the fellowship with God. Praise God. So our fellowship with Father, Heavenly Father, our fellowship with Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what it is. 1 John 1 3. It says that the fellowship it comes by having the relationship with God and the relationship comes by having the, the repentance the salvation of Lord Jesus Christ through the blood of Jesus amen praise God so before he Jesus before Jesus he died he said very clearly I am in the father and the Father is in me. So when we have the relationship with Jesus, so we are also having the relationship with Father. Praise God. So when we have the fellowship with Jesus, so we have the fellowship with God, the Father as well. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. John chapter 14 verse 10 and 11. That's what God said that Father is in me, I am in Father. Praise God. So here Jesus, he emphasized very clearly the fellowship is the most important thing. Dear friend, one important thing here. Suppose if we have the relationship with God, but not having the fellowship with God, that makes a big grievousness in the presence of God that is we are going to miss that that's why Jesus he said very clearly you are in me I am in you so if you are have being in me only you can bear the fruit away from me you cannot bear the fruit praise God so we must be in Christ and 
and be in him that means we need to continue in him so today i accept jesus tomorrow i reject that nothing it goes off or even we accept christ but we cannot continue that means we cannot have the fellowship with god then again the problem comes so what is that so once we have a relationship with god we have to receive the anointing power of the holy spirit who helps us to be in christ jesus and move forward having the fellowship with god praise god that is what very important thing my dear friend so we can uh, uh, we can say apostle paul he said uh, that christ uh, uh he, he 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 has given us so much opportunity for every one of us to have the fellowship with him and that's what uh, walking in the light of god walking in the light of god. romans chapter 6 verse 23 we see the free gift of god is eternal life in christ jesus praise god so unless and until we walk in the light of lord jesus christ that means walk in the word of god and having the fellowship with god it's too difficult to attain the eternal life and that is absolutely the ultimate one praise god so here john chapter 14 if you see verse 15 21 like this if you see if you love me jesus says if you love me you will keep my commandments today the spirit of god is telling for every one of us why we cannot love god because we are not maintaining the commandments of god and he says he who has my commandments and keeps them in the one who loves me and he who loves me will be loved my my father and i will love him will disclose myself to him praise god and again he says in other words 21 if you if anyone loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our adobe with him he who does not love me does not keep my words so once we keep the word of god in us so you are praying regularly you are first of all you must be born again that means first of all you ask the repentance and have the receiving the salvation through the blood of jesus christ that's the first step so you can have the relationship with god how you are the child of god and god is your father heavenly father so you are the part of body of christ that is the church from christ jesus praise god and he says that uh, very clearly he says that uh, whoever loves me they will manifest in their hearts the obedient heart towards me so the obedient heart comes only when we accept christ as our personal savior praise god so jesus says that who loves him they will obey him so if we love jesus so we will obey that is what the exact fellowship with god praise god so my dear friend this year god is reminding every one of us how we are not able to understand that how why the the, the promises are not getting fulfilled or even fulfilled why we are not able to recognize see every year god is adding to you means you need to be that much be closer closer to god it's not the every new year comes for the new plans or something why do god kept you still in a, in the in the alive uh, section still we are alive why why god uh, allowed us to see 2022 and that is what the word of god is telling this is what the secret lot of people are missing that they do not have the relationship so that to have the fellowship ship with christ jesus praise god we are all without agreement we are loving god without agreement we are praying to god without agreement we are christians without without agreement we are in the word of god without agreement we are preaching without agreement we are hearing without agreement we are watching and that all goes to the vanish because you are not the member of christ 
you are not the member of body of christ you are not the church not the walls of the church not the denomination church but the body of christ jesus somebody say amen that's what the word of god is talking about my dear friend so we must abide in god we must abide in god and god abides in us that's what 1 john chapter 3 verse 24 talks about we must abide in christ jesus so that christ is abiding in us so we know by that that is that he abides in us and how he abides in us how jesus is in us how to say that because of the power of the holy spirit is in us that's what the word of god is talking about dear friends it's a very important thing that uh, 1 john chapter 4 verse 16 says god is love and the one who abides in love abides in god and god abides in him praise god so we must have the abiding inside our lord jesus christ 1 john 4:13 it says that by this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us the his holy spirit praise god so that is what the fellowship with god what is the fellowship with god a simple thing is we need we are walking with god what is walking with god how do we walk with god by holding the hand of god in our hand praise god so that is the binding energy that is the binding fellowship that is the binding relationship my dear Today God is telling for every one of us, we must have the fellowship in Christ Jesus. How to get the fellowship? You must have the relationship with God. That's why the personal relationship with God it does the personal fellowship with God, and it does the church fellowship with Christ Jesus. Somebody say Amen. So, but dear friends, it's a very important thing. Jesus He calls us remaining. saving the relationship with him so that we can have the privilege of fellowship with lord jesus christ and then only we can understand what is the word then only we can understand what is the promise of god then only we can understand what is the purpose of your god is allowing you and me into the new years that means the adding years happy adding years praise god dear friends we do not know why somebody are missing this year and we do not know who will be missing in the next year so what is that all it's all about whatever god gives in us even one day even one minute let us save for god let us have the relationship with god let us have the fellowship with god so that you can understand so that you can understand these messages so that you can understand the revelation of god so that you can understand why do you receive the healing from god today lots of us we receive the blessings we are earning money maybe we are having a good job maybe we are having a good family maybe but we do not have the fellowship with the lord jesus christ this all will be vanished in one day but there is ever lost in life waiting for us if we neglect that now tomorrow we may miss that dear friends relationship with the lord jesus christ so that you can become a son of god child of god so that you can have the fellowship with the lord jesus christ that means holding hand and walking with god doing his purpose live for christ so that the death will be gained to receive the eternal life the everlasting life with the lord jesus christ praise god so let us begin with the having the relationship with the lord jesus christ and receive the fellowship of god and walk with god work for god serve for lord and live for christ jesus in jesus mighty name amen praise god shall we all bow down our heads and close our gracious heavenly father almighty god lead us and guide us having the fellowship with you father god just by having the relationship with you lord jesus christ just to accept you as our personal savior and be born again and receive the salvation so that we have the relationship with you we have the connection
connection with you we have the blood of jesus christ so that we can have the fellowship with you by the power of the help of holy spirit master thank you holy spirit once again holy god have mercy upon us and so that to understand the word of god father god just we need fellowship with you father by partaking the body of christ the church be born again accept it jesus and we rebuke the devil in the mighty name of jesus lord who is making all the master god making this stuff for not to believe all this we command the devil flee in jesus mighty name amen and lord lead us and guide us bless every brother and sister and child who are watching thank you lord for the added year 2022 and let it be blessed so that to have from now onwards having the relationship and fellowship with lord jesus christ and understand lot of things and the purpose of living just for you in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen praise god let us receive the blessing may the love of our heavenly father almighty god yahweh be upon us and our lord jesus christ who is given the wonderful privilege to have the relationship with him so that to have by the power of the holy spirit the fellowship with the lord jesus christ touch us today and be upon us and the communion of the holy spirit be upon us now and forevermore amen and amen praise god amen and amen and the god's people say amen and amen. Praise God dear friends may God bless you all having the fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ it does everything ultimately we receive the power of God and that is through the holy spirit so may God bless you all in this wonderful year to blessing so that we can understand now onwards you just today the spirit of God work with you i'm sure i'll pray i'll be praying for you and that is what it makes a big difference having the relationship so that to have the fellowship with god and taking the part of the body of christ somebody say amen may god bless you see